हेलो दिस इज़ विधान खिराली फ्रॉम जमशेदपुर वेलकम यू टू सी एस आई नेट फिजिक्स सोल्यूशंस हेयर वी नो दैट लैबलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू फंक्शंस इज इक्वल टू द लैबलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द फर्स्ट फंक्शन प्लस द लैबलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द सेकेंड फंक्शन C1 and C2 being constant will get out. So C1 Laplace of the first function plus C2 Laplace of the second function. So in our case, Laplace transform of six t cube plus three sine four t will be the Laplace transform of six t cube plus the Laplace transform of three sine four t. So six will get out. Laplace transform of t cube plus three into Laplace transform of sine four t. <clears throat> We know from the um, uh, Laplace transform is written as integration zero to infinity. This part function e to the power minus s t d t plus Three into and this part is integration zero to infinite function e to the power minus s t j t. Now these two parts are separately to be found out and then to be added. So let us take suppose this is one and this is two. So first of all, we will find out the first part. That is the six Laplace of that means zero to infinite t cube e to the power minus s t d t. Now this is this can be clearly seen that this is integration by parts. We have to do integration by parts, but integration by parts is going to be very lengthy process. The general type, the general integration by parts. So we will. Take shelter to a very efficient kind of integration by part that is called the successive integration by part. So, here from we will digress and see what is successive integration by parts. So let's see. Let us suppose there is a function which is indefinite integral x cube e to the power four x and we have to integrate it by using the general technique of integration by parts. So let us do. This will give us. The first function as it is, this we know this is the first function. This is the second function. So first function as it is, integration of the second function e to the power four x by four minus integration differentiation of the first function. That means three x square. Then integration of the second function e to the power four x by four and dx because there is still an integration existing. So finally, what we have is. X cube e to the power four x by four minus three x square three by four. Let us take out of the integral. Then integration of x square e to the power four x dx. Just see, we still have a integration by parts to be done. So this will be as it is minus three by four. This now this is the first. This is the second function. The first function we have to do the integration by parts. Now this is the first function, integration of the second function, e to the power four x by four minus integration differentiation of the first function that is two x integration of the first fun second function, e to the power four x by four dx. This 
this will be as it is here we will just distribute so 3 by 4 into 4 is 16 x square e to the power 4x minus this 4 into 4 and 3 into 2 6 by 16 into e x e to the power 4x okay and this is the integration dx now see still we have an integration bypass to be done so this is really getting very lengthy okay let us do it so this part will be as it is x cube e to the power 4x by 4 minus 3 by 16 x square e to the power 4x minus 6 by 16 and first function into integration of the second function minus integration differences in the first function is 1 and integration of the second function is 4x by 4 dx so this 4x by 4 minus 3 by 16 x square to the power 4x minus now again distribute let us distribute 6 by 16 into 4 this 4 they will multiply x e to the power 4x now minus minus plus okay uh, one thing very sorry here minus minus was to be plus this and minus minus this was the plus so this is the plus okay so when we distribute it this is uh, plus and plus minus this is minus so minus 6 by 16 6 by 16 and this 4 4 comes out e to the power integration of e to the power 4x dx so again still there is a term integration term that is to be done okay all right we will do this x cube e to the power 4x by 4 minus 3 by 16 x square e to the power 4x plus 6 by 64 x e to the power 4 x minus 6 by 16 into 4 and when we do this then we get e to the power 4 x by 4 so this now finally what we have is x cube e to the power 4 x by 4 minus 3 by 16 x square e to the power 4 x plus 6 by 64 x e to the power 4 x minus 6 by 16 into 16 e to the power 4 x now successive integration by parts what is successive integration by parts let us do successive integration by parts well this is a one line technique of finding the big integration by parts so this is very efficient one let us see how the same function the same example function that we have taken integration indefinite integral of x cube e to the power 4x dx now the first term would look like and would look the same as the first term for the general technique this one so here the first term is x cube and second term is integrated so integrated term would be obviously this is first and this is second term it so when it is integrated by 4 now this is plus we will next put minus here then after minus now for us this is the first function this is the second function and again differentiating the first function that is 3 x square now this is the first this is second into integrating the second the integrating the second is 1 by 4 there is already integrating the second e to the power 4x by 4 now this minus this plus we will put now again this is the first function for us and this is the second function for us so again differentiate the first function we will have 6x fine okay and this will be 1 by 16 into this is the second function e to the power 4x the integrated e to the power 4x by 4 now 
plus now we will put minus now this is the first function and this is the second function so first function will be differentiated successively and second function will be again integrated so first function is 6 into second function is 16 into 4 and e to the power 4x by 4 this is nothing this is 4 <laughs> so now minus now it is plus now this is the first function and this is the second function differentiating first function will give 0 that means the all the terms are terminated now just see the first term is x cube a to the power 4x by 4 minus 3x square a to the power 4x by 16 plus 6 by 16 x 6 by 16 into 4 that means 64 x a to the power 4x minus 6 by 16 4 into 4 into 16 that means 16 into 16 and a to the power 4x just see now this term this term is exactly equal to this term but do you think have you noticed this how much troublesome how much cumbersome this was and how much convenient this is so this is a one very convenient method successive integration by parts so now we will take get back to our original problem that was this now here we will apply the successive integration by parts so we will have directly this is the first function and this is the second function so for the first function t cube we have dip, uh, we have the t cube as it is and integ second function will be integrated to the minus st by minus s no, this was plus now this will be minus no this is the first function for us now and this will be differentiated so 3 t square and this will be integrated so 1 by minus s a to the power minus st by minus s now this will minus now this will be plus this is the first function for us now and this will be differentiated now this will be 6 t into 1 by minus s whole square there is already and this the second term will be integrated so 1 by minus s square into e to the power minus st by minus s now this was plus this will be minus now this term will be differentiated since this is the first uh, function for us now this will be 6 into and this will be 1 by minus s whole cube already there and e to the power minus st by minus s so since this is a successive integration by parts so the first function is successively differentiated and the second function is successively integrated fine since our problem is a integ definite integral so we will put the limit 0 to infinite so here from we will see putting infinite in place of t first we will get minus okay first of all let us rearrange this if we rearrange this this will become minus goes here minus minus t cube by s e to the power minus st minus 3 t square by s square e to the power minus st minus 6 t by s cube e to the power minus st minus 6 by s to the power 4 e to the power minus st okay from 0 to infinite can you see this is just the one line answer one line integration by parts this is the okay so here we come to next we will have Oh, outside there is 6 now we will put alpha in place of t it is not alpha sorry it's infinite so we will put infinite in place of t so infinite cube by s e to the power minus s infinite minus 3 infinite square by s square e to the power minus s infinite minus 6 t 
टी बस क्यूब ए टू दी पावर माइनस एस इन्फिनिट ओके यू मे ऑल्सो डू वन थिंग यू कैन टेक आउट माइनस कॉमन ओके सिंस आई हैव रिटर्न डाउन ऑलरेडी सो वी आर आई एम नॉट डूइंग दिस यू मे टेक आउट कॉमन द साइन ऑफ द माइनस साइन यू मे टेक आउट ऑफ द ब्रैकेट सो हियर माइनस एस अल्फा एंड फाइनली माइनस सिक्स बाय एस टू दावर फोर ए टू दावर माइनस एस इन्फिनिट देन माइनस नाउ वी विल पुट द जीरो द लोअर इंटर द लोअर लिमिट दैट इज फर्स्ट वन विल बी माइनस जीरो देन इट विल बी माइनस जीरो जस्ट चेक इट आउट फॉर योर सेल्फ माइनस जीरो एंड फाइनल इट विल बी माइनस सिक्स बाय एस टू दावर फोर सो दिस विल गिव अस माइनस इन्फिनिट बाय इन्फिनिट यू अंडरस्टूड बाय इन्फिनिट because uh, this e to the power minus s alpha will come to the to be e to the power plus s alpha and e to the power plus s alpha will be infinite and in an infinite cube is infinite so infinite by infinite minus infinite by infinite minus again infinite by infinite minus again infinite by infinite minus 6 by e to the power infinite that is infinite also plus finally the, all this is zero minus minus plus 6 by s to the power 4 So this will be six into minus infinite by infinite minus infinite by infinite minus infinite by infinite minus six by infinite plus six by s to the power four. Okay, all these terms are undefined. All these terms are this this one is zero. This one is zero. Now these terms are undefined terms. now while we are doing summation these undefined terms are just uh, we just get rid of these things and we only consider the defined terms so here for us the defined terms are 6 into only 6 by s to the power 4 so that is equals to 36 by s to the power 4 so we got the first term the first term to be 36 to the power 4 okay 36 by 2 the second term second term is for the second term let us first of all i will tell you that uh, integral in a laplace transform of the kind sin omega t if laplace transform of sin omega t type is already known as omega by omega square plus s square so in our case this is laplace transform of sin 40 so it will give us 4 since omega is equivalent to 4 here by s square plus 4 square so this will be 4 by s square plus 16 now there is one thing that in our case the two number thing is the two numbers 3 into 3 into, uh, into The Laplace transform of sine forty. So three into Laplace transform of sine forty. That is three into Laplace of sine forty, or you may say three into integration zero to infinity sine forty to the power minus whatever is equals to three into four by s square plus sixteen. So that is twelve by s square plus sixteen. So doing uh, putting those two things this two and this one here this one here this two parts in uh, the first in in here we will have we will have we will have 36 by s to the power 4 plus 12 by S square plus sixteen, so the answer comes out to be one. Thank you.